Good morning, guys. So, I'm home this morning for a little bit because I gotta wait for the pest control people to come. So I get to spend a little bit more time with this little girl. You say good morning. She's been up for a while. She usually does this. She'll wake up at like six or seven something, but then she goes back to, she takes her first nap at like nine, nine something and then sleeps in, nine or 10 and then sleeps until like 12. Yeah. But well, right now I'm making breakfast, just making some uh, scrambled eggs. Scorpion's still alive. I'm gonna, I think I'll, once the pets, once the pets people come, I will go somewhere far away and drop them off. Because every time I walk past, I'm like, oh. Well, he's survived this long. He deserves to keep living. So. Well, I read or I looked online, and it says that they can apparently live up to like a year without food, water, and oxygen. He deserves to live, so I'll, I'll take him far away and drop him off somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> right now, I'm just waiting for the pest people to come. I'm doing some remote work right now, but <laughs> these two are playing. Uh oh, silly. <laughs> hey, so I'm on my way to work now. Left uh, the pest guys didn't come when I left. They said they would get here, but. I had to get into work, so my dad's now at home watching and waiting for those guys, and hopefully that gets taken care of. The scorpion's still in the house. I didn't get the chance to set it free. I'll still set it free sometime, though, because it's lived this long, and I don't think we should kill it, <laughs> even if we don't like it. But, um, but yeah, trying to get into work, trying to get some things done, and I might stay a little late. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, but it does seem like next week's gonna be a crazy week, so I'll probably have to manage my time very wisely. Yeah. The pest people, or David was home until like 11, I think it was, um, and his dad got home at that time. Um, David stayed later this morning, so that way the pest person, when they came, I wouldn't have to deal with <laughs> Scarlet and the dog, Socks. But, so David was here, and he made me scrambled eggs for breakfast, but Scarlett fell asleep, and she was laying right next to me because she ate, and then she fell asleep, and then I had a sneeze, so I just, the plate was sitting on the bed right next to us, but it was far enough away I didn't think it, you know, Scarlett could, like, hit it with her hand, the spoon or fork, whatever it was, and I think it was a spoon, and um, I sneezed trying to be as quiet as I could and <laughs> it scared her so much that she like jumped and somehow like hit the spoon and it went flying on like over towards her and some of the um, stuff got on her onesie so I was trying to some of the stuff got on her onesie so I ended up taking her and I changed her outfit. But anyways, we're dressed and we're just playing. You go, you go, you go, you go, you go. Mommy's gonna let you um finish what you're doing. You seem pretty full down there. <laughs> Might have to change you soon before it gets everywhere. <laughs> and you think it's the funniest thing in the world. Got poop everywhere. You still need to do her little handprint. This is a sample they put in here, but they have the the other card behind it. And it comes with um this ink that you can use gonna be interesting though because <laughs> she doesn't like her hands on stuff. We still need to get one of her baptism pictures printed out to put in there which she had two white dresses she wore so we have two picture frames that people got us for her baptism so we can put one picture in here of one it with her in one dress and put the other picture of her in here with the other dress that she she wore. <laughs> yeah but See, under the dresser or the nightstand, we can put a, um, I'm using my toes to point. Um, we can put one of the trapped things under there and then also the same over here with the long dresser. Um, I think one might be okay. 
maybe two. I don't know. I'll have to ask David. We still have to return those diapers. Yeah. But socks can barely fit under here. He has to do like a wiggle to get under. Anyways, her nursery's coming together pretty well. Those are the two wall pieces that we found at the store and I thought were really cute. I mean, they could have been, I guess, a little bit closer to the crib, but it looks really nice. And I'm, we're thinking of doing like, um, I don't know if I want to do her name or just do like an S, like one of those wooden S's that you can get at the craft store and then paint it a color and then um, get like an old, an old antique picture frame that you can, we can put the S inside of the picture frame, but just use the frame of the picture frame, not the glass or anything, if the glass is still even with it. But put that in the middle or um, get the wooden letters from the craft store and like actually spell her name across. I really haven't figured it out. I think I just want the S, but then I don't know what to do over here. <laughs> Maybe put the S over here in the picture frame and a mirror or something, I don't know. I don't know, but I really like it so far. Hi! <gasps> Are you having fun? Look at your mobile. Look, it's butterflies. You like butterflies. You have a lot of butterfly stuff. <laughs> She's so cute. She does really good in it for a while, and then she'll probably start fussing, but so far she does pretty good, sorry. So far she does pretty good um, in here, laying and just playing around and kicking. Um, it's only if she's in here for a long, long time, like maybe, well, it's not really a long, long time, maybe like two minutes, so two or three minutes has been her max for being just quiet like this and calm. Um, but she hasn't fell asleep in it and I don't want her to fall asleep in it or even if she did fall asleep I would pick her right up because we don't have a baby monitor yet which is number one thing that we need to get for her to sleep in here by herself and but number two which actually should be moved to number one is taking care of the scorpion problem that's that is one thing that I want to get taken care of first, honestly, because the baby monitor could be, you know, good, but if there's scorpions, she's not sleeping by herself, which honestly, the scorpions can get into any of our beds, so it's not, you know, technically doesn't matter because they can get us anywhere, but see, she's just laying there. But when she does get fussy, like I said a few days ago, I'll put her in like this and then when she starts fussing and stuff because she's now starting to move around a lot more um, and using her very strong legs to kick and move, she, see, she's giving you an example. <laughs> um, I'll come in here, like I'll quickly go to the bathroom and I'll come in and I'll have her like this but when I come in her head is over here and her feet are right here. Like she completely like flips this way and I'm like, okay. You're in your high chair. We just put it together. <laughs> you don't look very comfortable, though. <laughs> She's like, Mommy, I can't reach my fingers. Hey guys, just on my way home. Actually, I'm stopping by to pick up some pizza. We're having pizza for dinner. It's been a while since we actually had pizza, and this place is one of our favorite places. It's a little far. It's um, it's a little far. It's the only location left. A few, uh, some of the other ones closed for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't want to know, but this location is still there. So uh, I'm gonna go there and pick up some pizza, and um, and then I'll, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Be walking in the door and like 
right now. Daddy's home. Daddy. <laughs> Alright guys, sorry we, we didn't show you guys the pizza when we got home. We were just so hungry we just ate it. So, But next time I will show you guys the pizza that I was saying. That it's probably my favorite pizza in Austin. But we hope you guys had a good day. Uh, if you do, uh, please like and subscribe. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Remember today is a good day to be a good day. Alright, bye guys. Bye. You're in your high chair. We just put it together. <laughs> you don't look very comfortable, though. <laughs> She's like, Mommy, I can't reach my fingers. You like it? Mm -hmm. Good. Huh? <laughs> Good.